Yeah. So, uh, you know, we brought you in here to talk about some things. Oh, come on. Let's talk about it, man. All right. We're going to jump right off the porch, man. We're, yeah. uh, we're going to allow you first to introduce right, right. yourself to the people. Who okay. you are and what you do before okay. I get it. For sure. Well, man, look, before we do that, man, first I want to give a moment of silence for my little brother, Brandon Finley, uh, who we lost, man, four years ago to a tragic accident in Denver, Colorado, man. So if you don't mind, let's give a few moments of silence for little Brandon. Man, man. all my people out there, head down, eyes together. Let's do it. All right. 100, 100, 100. And so we can begin properly. Right. So, uh, you know, I go by Dirty Fresh, you know, producer, rapper, you know, entrepreneur straight from Memphis, Tennessee, man, from Frazier, also by way of East Memphis. And, uh, man, just a real dude taking care of his family, taking care of his business by doing this music and just trying to get it in and provide for my folks, man. You know what I mean? Awesome, 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 awesome. Um, and so let's dig in first, man. They Who get it. Is Dirty Fresh. Let's let's get behind the music. Let's get behind. Let's right. get to know who you are, man. Tell right. us tell us something, man. Everybody don't know about coming up, <laughs> Dirty Fresh. My <Man, laughs> Dirty Fresh, man. You know, like I say, man. Uh, you know. Me, man, I'm just a stand-up dude, you know what I'm saying? I stand on my word, you know what I'm saying? Principle yeah. is everything for me, you know what I'm saying? Now. You know, and that just comes from my upbringing, you know what I'm saying? Coming up around a real family, you know, we, uh, you know, come come up in a large family, you know, and with limited resources, you know what I mean? So, you know, learn how to share and get along and, you know, and make make awesome. best do what we got to do, you know what I'm saying? So, that, that's my upbringing, and that's pretty much, man, the core and principle. It's your man, Black Guy of the Voice, Rap98.com. We're here with another exclusive but elusive we always bring you the dopest and indie up and coming artists, man. I won't even say up and coming artists because this guy right here is a, a young legend in the city. He's definitely one of the goats of the indie in the underground world of Memphis hip hop. We here with Dirty Fresh. What's up with my What's man? What's up, man? What's going on, man? It's no good. Like the other. You already know, man. Another one. Another one would be great. You know what I'm saying? Where's Chasing greatness out here, man. That's what we doing. Uh, a brother to a famous artist out. Oh, yeah, of course, right. of course. Uh, uh, that's, the Homer Coleman, the yeah. Homer boy, serious. It's, it's what now, we now do. That's what we do, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? You know, we were Frazier boy, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I got other cousins that do music, you know, I got cousins right. up in Nashville doing the dogs, you know what I'm saying? We got it covered from all angles, man. We got we got cousins doing TV and film, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we got it covered from all angles, you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, uh, coming up, my brother's Kia Shine, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of y'all remember okay. him from the Rap Hustler okay. era, you know, when he was with Yo Gotti and all Absolutely. them were together and all that. And, uh, you know, he went on to have the single Crispy, uh, Wow, and all that. And also, you know, a lot of people don't know I produced that album, you know what I'm saying? That was on Universal. You know, 85% of that album, me and my boy Tommy Rich, we produced that album. So, uh, yeah, man. So, you know, coming up around Big Bro, I had the opportunity to ride shotgun and see a lot of dudes and don'ts in the industry and, you know, really get a shotgun see to what's going on there behind the scenes and how it really works. You dig know what I'm saying? So that that's definitely awesome. gave me an advantage. You know what I'm saying? That's awesome. That's awesome. And so uh, being a producer on that album, did that album not... Uh Get plaques? Did that well, you know, the, the single uh, Crispy went gold, you know what okay. I'm saying? Okay. Well, well I think the, the ringtone or something like that. Okay. You know, because okay. actually that, that was around the changeover when albums went selling and it was kind of converting yeah. over from digital and we had mm -hmm. all the, you know, the Napsters of the world going on, you know, and our yeah, bootlegging was at, at an all-time high. So actually <laughs> the album didn't do as well as we wanted it to due to that kind of uh, stuff like that. But uh, we still ate off of it, man. You know, we got a big boy check off of it, yeah, and, you know, absolutely. and we still eating off of it to this day. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's the beautiful part about this situation. I'm talking about like music we made 13 years ago, bro, still streaming. How, how, how important is it for artists to, uh, do you feel it is yeah. for artists to, as much as possible, remain independent. Oh yeah, definitely, man. Cause you know, there's it, no retirement checks in this in this music. You know what I mean? It ain't no four hundred one k. So your publishing and you know all that kind of stuff, there, your royalties and all that. That's your retirement, you know what I'm saying? And that's what you're going to leave a legacy for and pass down to your kids. So it's definitely real important, man, to hold on to that as much as you can, or at least hold on to it and increase the value of it until you get a real big bag for it, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. one of the two will do, you know what I'm saying? So, man, what you yeah. say, what you say. Uh, as an independent artist, tell me a little bit about getting a publishing or a royalty check as opposed to uh, what one coming from an industry artist or well, you know, what it, it looks like. 
you know, of course now, you know, you're dealing with the industry, you're dealing with a bigger bag, you know what I'm saying? Let, let's just be straight up, you know, because they have a pipeline already set up for you and, you know, TV and, you know, just all the blogs and all this stuff set up for you versus uh, independent, man. A lot of your money going to come from, you know, shows and merch and stuff like that. Now, if you're lucky enough to get a, a number one single or a top 10 single, then, you know, you're going to look at some pretty big royalty checks and publishing checks coming in, you know, more so on the publishing side than the royalty these days, you know, because like I say, yeah. you know, records ain't really selling, you know. Yeah. yeah, so it's all about the streaming and then getting your streams up and, you know, building off your brand for as uh, far as an independent artist versus, you know, when you uh, sign to a major level, you got that big machine behind you and pumping you and pushing you and getting you all kind of endorsement deals and, you know, other ways to monetize your situation. So, yeah, it's definitely a bigger bag you're dealing with, but like I say right now, man, it, it just don't make sense to assign to a major label, you know, unless they come with a real big bag or the situation really, you know, helps you out in the long run, you know? Yeah. Okay, that's what's up, that's what's up. Okay, and so um, speaking of having a big record, yeah, and then, <laughs> <laughs> yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Man, um, I seen I seen you guys top forty. Yeah, What's man. A, a, actually, we we, we uh, twenty seven, uh, number twenty seven right now. You know I what I'm wanted saying? to say, like, yeah, 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 I, yeah. Know, Number 27, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's bro. just a blessing, bro, and it's just an attachment, man, to stand down and never giving up, you know what I'm saying? Because you never know your next record could be the one that break you through, you know what I'm saying? And then one record can change your whole situation. So we got a record out right now called Have Emotion, uh, Kid Shine featuring myself. Also, I produced the track as well, and it's under doing real good on Apple Music right now. So, uh, man, we just need everybody to keep pro uh, promoting, keep pushing, keep sharing, and keep streaming it. And man, hope we can push it to the top 10, man. You know what I'm talking about? Let's do that, y'all. Y'all yeah. hear him at home. Let's do that. Let's yeah, help my brother get real. that joint to the top 10. Independent, though. It you shouldn't be difficult because <laughs> one of those records, when you play it, you'll play it again. Yeah, oh, yeah. All you got to do it's is so. play one time. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's just so Memphis, man. You know it what I'm saying? It is. And uh, man, how that joint that came together, man, we, uh, my, you know, like me and, and my you brother. Produced the record. Oh, yeah, I produced it. You know okay. what I'm saying? So, you know, give y'all a little background, you know. Me and my brother, we, you know, he lives in Atlanta, so, you know, we always send the music back together. He's like, yo, bro, I just did this joint. Check it out. Tell me what you think. This was one of them records. I was just like, look, bro, just check, you know, check the beat out. Tell me what you think about it. Shit, I ain't, I ain't get a response. I got a song back. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, jump on this joint. I'm telling you, bro, this is it right here. You know what I'm saying? And, man, we dropped it, son, and, man, you know, bro, you know, big bro put it through his pipeline. I put it through my pipeline. Hey, you and you know, Sean got that history of, yeah. man, having that ear. If he say it's gold, it's, oh, it's, it's a go. It's a go. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So. Yeah. And I, I just follow follow Big Bro lead on that jump there, man, and shit. Here we are, number 27 on, on the Apple Music charts right now, you know what I mean? So, shit, I'm going to ride the wave awesome on that one, you work. know? <laughs> For real. I'm going to ride the wave on this one. Awesome yeah. work. Awesome. I ain't lying. Awesome Appreciate work. that, bro. Appreciate um, that. And so, like, I know that this was something done, like, over the internet, basically. Yeah. Bro, out of the way, but, yeah. like, um, what was it like earlier on doing records? You know, because, oh, he, for, because he's been there for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Like when you talk about Memphis music, you got to mention Shine, bro. Yeah, you With got to. You, you definitely got to. You and, got uh, to. and Jack Frost as well. You know the Absolutely. whole the whole rap hustle movement. Frost. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. Man, like I say, I, I I was privileged. You know, in the early going, you know, like uh, Jack Frost had his record label, uh, Lou Chase Records, and we had a record it. label called Diamond Cut. Mm -hmm. And you know that was kind of more of our just learning the game, learning a little bit of the business. You know. And we had bought some lessons at that time, and you know, and uh, Frost and Shine, they took the lessons that they learned from those situations, and man, and, and got the rap hustling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, it was for me, like I said, I was still just a young artist trying to figure out, you know, figure out my lane and what I'm gonna do in this music industry. Mm -hmm. So for me, it gave me a time to just sit back, you know, learn the business side of it, you know what I mean, and see what's really going on and really how to put yourself out here. And man, I learned a lot of the game from those two guys right there, man. So. It was, it was a whole lot of grinding, bro. Nothing came easy. We had to grind, 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 you know, city to city, state to state. You know, like, it wasn't it wasn't in the internet day, so we really had to right. get on the road. You had to be there yeah. if you wanted your right If you really wanted that, you had, oh, you to, had to literally, you had to physically, <laughs> physically get out there and do it. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get out there and network. And, yeah. and, you know, and it was all about, you know, your word and, you know, you as a man, you know what I'm saying, your integrity. So I feel like that's why a lot of the game is a little bit saturated right now because, you know, Back then, like you kind of knew what you were dealing with, like you know this guy, you know already before you see him on TV. So you know, um, you know, like it was just a lot of grinding, bro. A lot of long nights in the studios, man. A whole lot of no's till we got a couple yeses. You know what I'm saying? It just changed our situation, bro. You know, there's a whole lot of grinding, bro. You know, it, it, like I say, nothing came easy. A whole lot of hating, whole lot of trading and faking and pump faking and all that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, like I say, you gotta have thick skin in this game, man, and keep it pushing no matter what you go through. Why are you dropping some jewels? Yeah. 
He dropping jewels, 100, bro. 100, got to, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, somebody else out there looking at this like, yo, I want to get to where he at and beyond that, you know? So how do I do that, you know? So hopefully I give them some game and they can pick up on it. You did. Mm, awesome. All right. So, um, and this ain't like your first big record now. Like, nah, just, nah. I'm talking about, and not even recently. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, Gas. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's still we had a couple of them. Uh, man, that's what I'm on. That, that record's that's still going crazy. I got another one. Watch, Watch me groove. Me that, that, that one going Watch crazy groove, right now. Uh, I produced the, uh, you know, the Abbey Air where Kid Shine and Jim Jones. Oh, okay. You know, I produced that. Uh, man, just a couple records, you know, from back in the day to uh, Look Chat and uh, uh, shit. What was it, my boy um, from H Town? Goddamn, Mike Jones, you know what I'm saying? Look Chat and Mike Jones, yes. round and round. I produced that one. That was a huge record. So, wow. yeah, you know, it, it's a bunch of records that I had done and had my fingerprints wow. on, man. It took off and popped off out here. The Stunner Frames, I produced that one, you know what I'm saying? So, that it, 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 it definitely ain't my first, you know, rodeo, but this is, I can say, this is my first time as a rapper yeah. to get a, a yeah. record that's charting that high. So, you know, it's that's a real huge. big accomplishment for me, man. Real that's big accomplishment. Huge, bro. That is huge. Yeah. That's so huge. Yeah. Salute to you, man. man appreciate that, man. Because I know this ain't your pinnacle. Yeah, I right on, got, right I on. I know there's a lot more waiting on you, bro. <laughs> you know, somebody oh. asked me the other day, they're like, man, so, you know, what do what, what, what you do next? I said, get get my ass back in the studio, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, right straight back up. To it. Right back to it. Drop another one and keep going, you know? So, yeah, that's that what it's all about. In this music industry right now, bro, it's about being consistent. Yeah. You know, because you hear the day going tomorrow, and there's so many artists out there, so many talented artists out there. So how do you stay at the plate? You know what I mean? You got to keep dropping. You know what I'm saying? Keep dropping and stay consistent and also spin off with the merch and all that. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're doing too. We got the uh, the merch gang going. Coffee with Kenfo .com, You know what I'm saying? Merch. Yeah. So, you know, we just trying to, yeah, the hoodie, tees, the hats, the whole thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We yeah. come with the whole jumpsuit soon. So, man, we just, you know, enterprising, man. You know what I'm saying? And just trying to monetize our situation, you know? That's what it's all excellence. about, bro. Yes, sir. Black on, oh, yeah, please believe. Yeah, please believe. That's what we're doing. I love it, man. By the way, man, I'm proud to say I'm a Coleman boy. My guy right on. You so. did. You yeah. did. It's a man, Coleman thing, is, man. It is real. It is very real. Yeah, the so, Coleman way, man. So, let's send some shots out, man. Like, yeah, yeah, behind yeah. every great man, man, there has to be a great team. Bro. Of course. Of course, man. You know, uh, shout out to my boy Mac Montez. My boy, the twins, you know, uh, my boy, Mun, Grip, you know, just so many of the homies. My boy, JR, just real. Uh, my boy, uh, Vernon, you know what I'm saying, Sean. Man, just so many uh, people behind the scenes that keep me going and keep me motivated that I be in here all day. You know what yeah, I'm saying? You know, running off names. Yeah, you not know. leaving no Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Not leaving. Of course, uh, and, 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 and of course, yeah. my family, you know what I'm saying? My wife, you know what I'm saying? My kids, you know what I'm saying? Everybody keep me motivated and keep me grounded. You dig? So, yeah. man, I be in here all day rattling off names. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. <laughs> you know, and people, people like you, bro, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they keep me uh, motivated wow. and keep me, you know, with the wow. support and, you know, offering your platform to people like me, man, it's independent on the grind. So I appreciate y'all, everybody in the room. I appreciate y'all as well, you know. So wow. that's what it's all about for me, man. Just, uh, you know, reaching out and showing love with love it, man, and keep it going, you know. So, wow. yeah, just yeah, shout out to everybody that's holding bro. me down. Everybody, the whole city, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Everybody across the globe, West Coast, New York, you know what I'm saying. All my folk, you know. Love, man. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So um, before we get up out of here, man. Yeah, man. Let's talk about, Let's talk about a couple it. more questions. Come on with okay. it. Man, Don't hold nothing back either, man. 2021 was a, a hell of a year. Yeah, yeah. There was a lot of things, man, that affected the way that we got to move and operate. Yeah. 2022, man, what's the game plan? What you, well, what's different? You know, it's really, we're going we gonna to speed up the process. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like I say, it's about being consistent. Okay. You know, for what you're going to see me is a lot, whole lot more visible. I got a lot of work, you know, that I've been just stockpiling. I'm just about to start dropping non-stop, you know, I'm getting into the films. I got a, a series that I was co-star, I was actually starring in. Uh, man, it's called Silence, you know, Silence of G-Code. It's on YouTube right now. And it was doing real good numbers. That was prior to the pandemic, but when the pandemic hit, you know, we had to stop filming and all this. So, you know, they kind of shut that down, but I'm still looking to get into that lane because that really opened up a whole nother avenue for me, you know. Mm -hmm. So looking more into the films, you know, of course the production, the music, the merch, and, you know, of course, real estate and other investments like that, man, and just keep pushing the line, you know. And I'm also looking for, you know, the next artist out there, too. So, you know, you never know, you know what I'm saying? So just holler at me. You're going to see a whole lot more Dirty Fresh, the whole brand, the whole wave, the whole team. We on our way, man, for real, for real. Man, I love yeah. it. I love it. I love it. And so, um, five years from now, what do you see yeah. yourself? Now, I see myself, you know, on some island somewhere chilling. But now, for real, though, uh, mm -hmm. I see myself as a, a, a mogul, you know what I mean? I see myself, you know, as an entrepreneur, 
you know what I mean? And, and somebody that's out here helping the next man up, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't just trying to get it for myself so I can, you know, you know, I don't know if I can curse, but I, so I can shit on everybody or whatever. That ain't my motivation. I'm trying to help somebody, help as many people along the way. And uh, man, just you know, be the change that I want to see in the world. You dig what I'm saying? And uh, that's why I see myself, that's where I'm going, and that's what's going to happen. Mark my words. Yeah, it is. And don't even think you said it thus far, man. Yeah. We got no reason not to trust you. Right on. It is what it is, brother. So, um, man, a young aspiring artist out there, man, dig what he heard today, want to reach out to you, get some work. Wanted to just get a line dropped to him. Yeah, Wanted, right on. You know what right I'm saying? On. Features, bookends. How do we tap in? Uh, you hit me up at Dirty Fresh World, D I R T Y F R E S H, world at gmail.com, or you can hit me direct 901 239 3883, or hit me up on my social medias, Dirty Fresh 901 and Instagram. Hit me up on Facebook, Kenny Coleman, you know what I'm saying? Hit me up, tap in. If it's about some money, if it's about some BS, keep it to yourself. You did.